pillow down. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I knew it. <laughs> Where's she at? There she is. Oh, hi. You want to say hi? Oh, you want to say hi to everyone? Say hi. My name's Cora. And there's Kojak. <laughs> she said, I'm new to the family, huh? As long as I don't move too sharply, the setup should be good. <laughs> we'll see. You're on pillows right now, so one wrong move and it might just go all downhill. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to be showing you my fall TBR. I understand now, like I get it. I get being a seasonal reader. There are just certain books that you wanna read during the fall time or the winter time or the spring or the summer. I get it. Like I am literally all for seasonal TBRs. Like I love it so much. The right book with the right season, like the right weather, it just hits, man. It just hits. And I am so excited for my fall TBR for the next like three months, two months. It's the end of September now. So it's about to be October. And I feel like October is like prime fall reading because you get your spooky books, you get your fantasy reads in, and then November is still like fallish, but for some reason I associate Nove I associate November with like fall romances for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. But it's about it's October. So that means we are getting all the spooky, all the thrillers, all the like nice spooky fantasies, all the spooky stuff, you know? Authors just decided this year that October was going to be the best year for them to release their books. And thank God, because there are some really, really exciting new releases coming out in October. So I'm so excited for that too. Let's start with the new releases that are coming out in October that I'm really, really excited for. I have my calendar here and I have them all written down. So the first one that is coming out on October 10th is Sword Catcher by Cassandra Clare. I feel like everybody knows already who Cassandra Clare is and if you don't, what are you doing? She's the author of the Mortal Instruments Shadow Hunter world. She's got three separate series, I believe, in the Shadow Hunter world and they are everything. They're literally everything. She's the author that got me into reading again. Swordcatcher is her new series that's coming out that is not anything that has to do with the Shadowhunter world or anything, I believe. I'm like almost 100% sure this is just a new series that she's starting and I'm really excited about that. So that comes out the 10th. And then on the 13th, we have the last book in the Chestnut Springs series are they the chestnut springs yeah this is Bo's story i believe and it's called hopeless and it's coming out the 13th i don't really think this is a fall book necessarily but it is a new release that's coming out in october so i'm going to grab that one as well and then on the 19th we have two twisted crowns this is the second book um the first book was one dark window amazing like gothic fantasy novel so so good and it left off on a cliffhanger so the second book is coming out on the 19th very excited to read that i actually did a cosplay of the main character so if you guys want to go check out my instagram you can go check that out and then finally in october on the 24th a curse for true love comes out this is the last book and the Once Upon a Broken Heart series that Stephanie Garber has. It's probably my most anticipated read of this month. I'm very, very excited for that book because the second book was a five-star read for me. The way it ended was freaking crazy and I cannot wait to see what happens in the third book. I'm like so confused and just like, what? And we've waited so long for this last book so i'm very excited to get that on the 24th okay so jumping right into my fall tbr these are mainly like spoopy books so like i had october in mind when i was putting this fall tbr like together obviously i can only read like maybe two three books max a month so all of these books are just gonna be the fall time. So the first one that I have is The X Hex 
by Erin Sterling. I've had this on my TBR for the past, I think, two years. But this is just like a cute little witchy, folly, Halloween-y, spoopy <laughs> little rom-com. The next one I picked up just like out of the blue. I was just browsing actually at Walmart. Walmart, my Walmart has a very good book selection. Um, but I was just browsing and this was just sitting there and it's A Dowry of Blood by S.T. Gibson. I believe it's a Count Dracula's wife. It's like her story, I don't know. Okay, so I started this and it's, ve it's written very interestingly. It's all letters, like she's writing letters about her life. It's just very odd, like she's she's writing a letter, but it's like kind of just addressed to herself. I don't know, it's, it's strange, that's for sure. I don't know, I, I'm very intrigued on it, and just like look at the cover. The cover is stunning. We'll see how it goes, but A Dowry of Blood by S.T. Gibson. Next, I feel like I've missed the bandwagon on this book, so I'm going to read it this season, um, and that is Belladonna by Adeline Grace. Let me tell you, these, these book covers are stunning. I literally had no idea what this book was about. I still don't really know. I'm pretty sure, though, that it is a gothic fantasy. I've seen some mixed feelings about this book. Some people like it, some people don't. So I don't know. I, I, I kind of want to dip my toe into like the gothic kind of style of writing. So I'm going to try it. And then if I like it, there's the second book that just came out. So called Fox Club. This book has also been on my TBR for about a year now or two. <laughs> the Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. Is it Poston? I can't read cursive. The Dead Romantics, uh, romance is dead, but this isn't what she had in mind. This is another like Halloween-y fall rom-com, so I don't know. I feel like I have to read it this, this year because it's been on my TBR forever and I don't ever want to pick it up unless it's in the fall time or like around Halloween just because I feel like it's fitting. I can't pick this up in the summertime. I don't know, I just think it's weird, so. We're going to read this. I don't really know what it's about. I don't know if she falls in love with a ghost, but I guess we'll find out. So this next one, Gideon the Ninth. This is going to be the next book on my TBR. Lesbian necromancers explore a haunted gothic palace in space. <laughs> that just sounds like a fun time. The most fun you'll ever have with a skeleton. The Emperor needs necromancers. The ninth necromancer needs a swordswoman. Gideon has a sword, some dirty magazines, and no more time for undead nonsense. I'm really excited to read this. Next up, we have some Grady Hendrix books. So the first one is the Final Girl Support Group. Um, I heard a lot of mixed feelings about this book too. I know this isn't one of his favorite books, but... Um, I really want to read it anyways. I just love the idea of it. In horror movies, the final girls are the ones left standing when the credits roll. They made it through the worst night of their lives. But what happens after? Like, I love that concept. And I think that is just so fun to read during Halloween. It's just so cool. So I'm really excited to read this one. Then the next Grady Hendrix book that I have is My Best Friend's Exorcism. <laughs> Didn't this come out as like a movie? I tried watching the movie, but it was just not cool. But I'm pretty sure I put this on my fall TBR last year and I didn't get around to reading it. So I really want to get to it this year. And I feel like the title just explains what the book is about. So my best friend's exorcism, very excited for that. And I know he just recently came out with a new book to something about a house. I don't know. I'll put it here. I really want to get my hands on that one too, but I was waiting to see if it comes out in paperback soon because I don't want the hard cover. I might just get it on Kindle first and then see where we go from there, but I really want to read this one too. Then I'm putting this one on my TBR, The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I really want to read this trilogy, I believe it's a trilogy, first before I read the Naturals books because 
I know that this is a series that everyone fell in love with and then now they're reading The Naturals, so. I think they're both completed series, but I could be, no, I'm like almost positive they're both completed now. But I just feel like a good YA mystery is a fun time to read during the fall time. Lying in the deep. I don't know why I thought like, oh yeah, I'm gonna read this on my trip, on my cruise. What? No. It's another YA mystery that I feel like, I don't know, could be fun. We'll see. I put this on here because I'm like, when else am I gonna read this book? Romance, jealousy, obsession, and trapped on board with a killer. It sounds cool. Well, we'll yeah, 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 yeah. This book, I've actually never heard anyone talk about recently. I think it was popular maybe like two years ago. <laughs> the Last House on Needless Street. Something terrible is buried in the forest at the end of Needless Street. It looks like a fun time. It's not a YA thriller this time. It is a... Thriller, <laughs> adult thriller, I don't know. It kind of reminds me of that movie, The Last House on the Left or something like that, like that scary movie. So I think that's why I picked it up. And it just looks creepy. Like that, that's creepy looking, right? <laughs> then I have Only a Monster. I really, really like the concept of this book. In every story, there is a hero and a monster. She is not the hero. I'm pretty excited to read this. This is a YA fantasy. Um, just one of the fantasies that I want to get to this season. Finally, for like physical books, I have Yellow Face by RF. I literally don't know anything about this except for it's very mind-blowing for a lot of people. And I'm very excited. I feel like this is going to be the perfect like what the fuck book for um, the fall season. White lies, dark humor, deadly consequences. This sounds very interesting. Wow. Am I gonna hate the main character? I think we're supposed to hate her. Yeah, cool, excited about this. <laughs> and that's it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you're reading this fall season and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Everything goes white